Mm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome to the first round of Favour of the Pharaoh. This is a pretty quick game, we'll probably do a couple of rounds in a single video. Let's get straight into it. We've got no special things, this is turn one, so we just get to roll three dice and uh, try and claim something awesome. Okay, so let's roll your blam. Okay, so we get five, five, and a three. That's actually a pretty good roll because it is all odd, which allows us to take this tile. Yoink. This one says that any die that we've locked, we can then add a, these amount of pips. We can, so a one can be a two, a three, or a four. Very, very strong. Awesome. Now this guy is the second player, so he gets to draw one Scarab token. Just to help him out a little bit. This one allows him to roll, uh, to re-roll a locked die. So when you're rolling, you have to roll one dice. Uh, you have to lock one dice every roll until you're out of dice. So, what do you got for us? Boom. Five. That's another double. Yeah, blam. And a la blam. And we're looking for another odd or a five would be nice, or a, yeah, a, a, any odd or a five plus. Okay, so that's three, so that is another odd. So we have three odds, which also allows us to take a servant. Okay, come on. Okay, so six, 10 and a one. Well, let's uh, keep the six. You blam! Oh, triple six! Nice. So that worker basically means is that we have a permanent plus one that is locked. So we, if we wish, we can always add a single dice into the lock position on the one pip. Also, I forgot, as he is the third player, he gets to choose two of these randomly, of course. Bam and the bam. This is another plus pip token. That means you can cash this in to add one to a pip. Pips are the, you know, the little dots on the dice. And the last guy gets three of these. I shut, I shut. So he gets a dice re-roll, another dice re-roll, and a plus pit. Pit, 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 pit. I know how to spell, but apparently I don't know how to speak because I was trying to say speak. And now we have another round. Boom. Okay, so what have we got here? Four, a three, and a two. So what I think I'm gonna do here is take the farmer. Four dice is less than, oh, greater than or equal to, not less than or equal to, so I can't do that. Okay, I think I'll take the four. You blam. Okay, there's a five, nice. And we'll cash, okay, and we'll take, we'll, we'll lock the five and the three. So that locks the five, and that locks the three, and we're gonna spend one pip to make that into a four. So we have two fours and a five. I'm gonna use that to take the farmer, which gives us some extra cultivation and a permanent fourth dice to roll. Nice. Okay, so that is the end of round one. So we're back at uh, the first turn. Remember this guy also has a couple of tile. We've got a tile already. He's got the servant tile. Yeah, blam. So he's gonna lock in the four. Gonna try and get that extra die roll as well. And we'll roll these two. Oh, beautiful. Five and a six. That is a five. It's also a straight four, five, six. We're not even gonna use her ability, we don't need it. All our guys are four or better. We can just take the farmer straight up, yoink. So he now gets to roll four dice around. This dude also has a servant and three dice. Let's go. Start building our dice pool. Bam, okay, so we have six and threes. Okay, so he's gonna lock in the six. You blam and the four. 
you blame and we may as well just lock in the three and we'll use yeah, and we'll use her power to just make that into make that into a five. So the way you use powers is you just flip them over when you're done and then you flip them back up or you tap them or whatever. I usually just don't bother because it's so easy to keep track of. But it gets a little more important later on. I might pull out some tokens to put on top of it to mark them as tapped. But anyway, so we used her ability. We've all above four. Grab the all important. Bam! Okay, so this guy has the plus one. So you can actually theoretically go for something on the next level. Because this level here, you need four dice. But he's rolling three for now. Bam! Double five and a four and possibly a one. Okay, so what I would like to get is the artisan. A pair of sixes and a pair of one. So I need to roll two sixes and a one. So we've already got one from our power. So I just need to roll a six and a one, which might not be as hard as I think. So I'm going to cash in this and get a six. Come on. Let's go risky rolling. Blam! Oh! <laughs> I just rolled three sixes. Cash in that for another six. Now, what can I do with three sixes? Four of a kind or dice is greater than five. Okay, so the intrigue dice is out. We really want to do this. We've already got three, but we don't actually have another roll, so we can never... We can't actually win this, now that I think about it, because we need to, because the the worker die can only ever be a, a, a one face. So I'm going to continue rolling. We are now looking for a one. So we've got reverse luck wish now. Oh my god! <laughs> I love dice. Okay, so that is a one. And of course we get plus one from the worker, so we have two sixes and two ones. It means we can take the master artisan. Yonk. Awesome. This one allows us to basically change one die to any face. It's a very, very strong. And you can it works on all the different colored die. We're only using red die so far. Okay, so this guy actually has the farmer, so he actually gets to roll four dice. So he can also try for a level two. Boom! Okay, so we have a six. We want to get that conspirator dice, everything above five. So let's keep the six. Just to speed this up, I'm just going to stick them in the corner up here. Come on, high rolls. Four. Okay, that's bad. We're going to cash in one of our rolly things to re-roll. Oh, beautiful. Another six. Okay, higher than five. Oh, another six. And the last roll, we want a five or better. Five. Excellent. So, we get to take the Conspirator. This is the green dice. Now, the green dice is uh, pretty weird. It basically has a special die face. There it is. If it lands on that die face, you can adjust the face of two dies, including itself, to any value. It's extremely strong, and he gets to roll that every turn now. Sweet, and we used that last turn, didn't we? So, starting back with the first player, he's got four dice plus a servant. You blam! Okay, so this is a pretty decent roll. I guess I'm going to lock in the six. And roll again. Okay, so we're going to keep that roll. We have six, four, one, and two. And he's going to take the palace key. Now, the palace key is... Uh, a bit different. This is a red one. This is like a one-off power. You can only ever use it once. But this will allow him to roll a massive amount of dice next turn. You know what I have forgotten to do though? When you claim a red tile, you get two tokens. When you claim a blue tile, you get one token. So he's got a blue and a red, which means he gets three tokens. 
This girl has a blue token, so she gets one token. This guy's only got yellow, so he gets nothing. But this guy has a blue token, so he also gets another token. And now we're rolling for this baby. She has four dice. Ooh, blam! Ooh, four and a four. So she's gonna spend a token and set this to five. Actually, no. So she's gonna lock both the fours. We're going for the four of a kind this time. Yeah, blam! Okay, so we get two fives. So she's actually gonna spend her re-roll token to re-roll one of the dice. Okay, she gets a three. She's gonna spend her other token to make that into a four. She now has a four. And now all we need to do is roll under five and we get it. Under five, come on, under five. Unbelievable. So that's a six. That's a waste. Oh, what a terrible waste. All we needed was anything, because we can add plus up to plus three to any result with this power, anything under five would have won us a four of a kind straight. Terrible. But we did get, we, we did lock for a three of a kind, which is enough to grab the worker. We wasted all our awesome powers then. I was so sure that was going to work. Okay, so this guy, he only rolls three, but he does have a master artisan, which is going to really, really help. So he's a bit behind the eight ball. He wants to go for the farmer. Okay, so he gets a five. He uses artisan to set this to six, I guess. Oh, actually, we'll just take the five. No point in blowing all our powers. Roll again. Six and a five. That's a pass. So we don't need to use the artisan, but we do get all our dice above four, which is enough to take the last farmer die. Beautiful. Now we have our leader. He gets four red dice and he also gets to roll the green dice. So he's able to go for the high level fives. The problem is that uh, I've put these wrong, this thing. So yeah, five of a kind, straights, pair of three of a kind, and 25 plus. Okay, what you got for us? Right, so we have three of a kind, one, two, three. I think we'll keep this one and we'll keep the two of the kind. And now we're looking for a three of a kind. Yeah, blam. Okay, that's no good. I guess we'll take a four. Mm, this is not going to be good. Actually, I think we're going to re roll one of these and I'm going to re roll the green die. Boom! Perfect. So what was this? This was a four, wasn't it? Doesn't matter, we can now set two dice to anything we want. Turn that into a... Doesn't have a six. So turn that into a four. And turn this into a four. Bam! La bam! And la bam bam! And we get to grab a pair of three of a kind, the Surveyor. Nice. This guy basically means that you can take any one die you have and split it into two dies whose pips add up to the same amount. So I could turn that into two twos. If it was a three, if it was a five, I could turn it into a two and a three. And it was also a blue tile, so we gain another token. So now it's player one's turn. So the question is, do we want to use the red card? We'll get to roll six dice and have a very good chance of getting a very powerful card. But there's still some really good quality cards on the table we haven't got. We're pretty much looking at the Conspirator and the Artisan, particularly good. And up here with five dice, which he can't actually hit, he's only got four by default. There's uh, this one here and this one here. So I think we're gonna just roll four by default to see what we get. 
Boom. Oh, look at that. Double one and double four. Okay, so that's very good. We're going to take both those ones. Lock them in. We're going to go for the artisan card, which is a double one and a double six. So now we just need to produce a double six. Yablam! Four. So let's use our reroll token. We're going to use another reroll token. Come on. Oh dear. And another reroll token. Three. Okay, then we'll use the artisan to set that to six. And now we have our last roll. One and six chance. Can we roll a six? Come on. One a six. We want a six. We want a six. Oh, damn it. So that was a bit of a failure. So we end up with the 611 and we haven't locked this one yet. Well, I think he is just going to take the sheep herder. Yoink. Gives him an extra dice in the middle of his roll. Well, that was a bit of a downer. We used a lot of our resources for that one. Now we have our new dude. He's got four dice as well. Plus he's got a plus one for worker. All dice over five is what I would like. Okay, so let's grab the five. Yablam! Ooh. Well, I guess we'll... Oh dear. What are we going to do here? I think we're going to use her servant ability to set this to a... F uh, we'll set this to a five as well. We need a five and a six now. That's what we're looking for. Or a double five. Double four. Horrible. You know, I screwed this up. I should have used her ability to make that a six. It's a bit late now, because now I can't qualify for everything different. There is nothing that is good. This is a three of a kind. We've already got that one, though. We don't have, we don't have any way to modify dice, so we're going to lock in another four. And what we're hoping for now is... I don't even know what we're trying to roll here. Let's just see what we get. Six. Bam. Nice. So that is a total of 20 die that we've rolled. So we could take this thing here, it gives us an extra turn. That becomes very important towards the end of the game. Yeah, so there's nothing you can really take. I think, I actually think I'm also gonna take the herder, the consolation guy. Probably not as good as a decision, but uh, I think that this card is actually a lot better than it looks like. Now we have our high rollers. This guy rolls four dice and has a plus one that's always locked in. We'll just stick like, like that permanently. Plus four dice and he's got an artisan. So what we would like to get is the Royal Attendant. Starting to work our way up into the higher echelons of Egyptian so high society. We need a five or a six high straight of five dice to get that. So it's pretty hard. I think I've been overzealous with burning my tokens. What you got? You blam! Okay, so we've got a four. Let's lock that in. Actually, we've got a one and a six. Let's lock both of them in. It's a one and a six. And this one is from this die here. In fact, I'll put it there just so it's a little bit clearer. So now all we need to do is roll a six. And remember, we can, we'll can definitely get this because we've, uh, we've got Master Artisan. And we get a six anyway. So I'm just going to stop rolling right there. Oh no, we've already got this one. I'm rolling for something we've already got. Okay, it doesn't matter. So we've, we've rolled a six. We've got the two from here. And then I'm going to use Artisan to turn this into a six. And now I place this here as well. So that is three of a kind plus two of a kind, which allows him to take split, which is going to be very, very handy. Whoop. And that's the only two copies of split on the table. Bam. Plus, he took a blue, so he gets another token. I just checked the rules. I've been using this a bit differently. This guy brings it into play as a one. So basically, with these two... Co that means it doesn't come in locked as I thought it did. So it comes into play active as a one, and then you can use your abilities to rejig it before you lock it. So with Artisan, that is basically a die of any color, any type. Now I have our big kahuna. He's rolling four dice plus the green. 
Yeah, blam. Okay, so. I guess he'll keep the five. Actually, using split, he can turn this into a three and a two, which is then two and then three. Using the surveyor, which allows him to split a dice, and he's going to split this five into two and a three. Now, the white dice, they're called immediate dice. That means they have to be locked. You can't not lock them. So we've got two and a three. We're working on a straight here. We want a five high or a six high straight. We'll also take the five, bam. Now we're looking for a four and a one. And we've got three dice to do it. Bam, well there is a four. And now I just need a one. Come on, one. Come on, one. Or a six, actually. Bam! Okay, so that's no good. We'll take the four. Actually, no, we can do this. We then take the plus one pip. We apply it to the green, turn it into a six. Oh, this doesn't have a six. Ah, uh, well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, we'll lock this five. And now we have a 50-50 chance of getting this because with the plus one, we can roll a one, we can roll a five, or we can roll a six. So it's 50-50. Come on, 50-50. Come on, 50-50. Come on, 50-50. Six, booyah. We don't even need to spend our thing. Yoink. So that is a straight. Two, three, four, five, six, which allows him to pick up the royal attendants, yoink, which gives him a red and a white dice at the beginning. Now, white, remember, has to be instantly assigned. So, you know, I just read a bit of the rules. This is actually, this actually doesn't change the die face, just the pip count of the current face. So I could apply that. That turns it into a six pip die face. It doesn't actually flip the die. The artisan, on the other hand, actually flips the die itself. So you couldn't use that to set the green die to a six. Anyway, I think we'll call it there. We'll uh, finish it up in the next video and I will see you guys next time.